Hello everyone and welcome on the Papier de Rêve channel. I'm Ursula and today I will be drawing and painting with you with some uh, water soluble uh, graphite. I have this uh, water soluble graphite pencil uh, sitting on my desk for several weeks. I was trying it and having uh, an idea of what it is capable to do. And today I'm ready to show you how I'm using uh, this tool uh, in my drawings. So I will uh, draw and paint with you two little uh, drawings or study, uh, one from my cat and another one uh, which is a landscape. I start this study of my cat uh, with just by drawing with a pencil on uh, my paper. I'm using watercolor uh, paper because as I will uh, add some water to it, I need uh, a paper that can handle a lot of uh, water. And uh, today is uh, it's a uh, Saunders and Waterford uh, sheet of paper. It's uh, not as uh, strong as my usual paper. Uh, it's only uh, 190 uh, GSM. Uh, my usual paper is more than it's 300 GSM uh, usually. So it's a, a lighter paper, but it's watercolor paper. So it behaves like a watercolor paper. It's the paper I'm using in my sketchbook, for example. So I begin this sketch by drawing with my uh, graphite pencil, which is a water soluble graphite pencil. I'm using and uh, then I can put water on top of the drawing and smear a little bit the graphite and uh, as I want some uh, darkest uh, part of my painting darker uh, I can uh, take the pigment on the pencil directly and put it on the paper with my brush it's like I'm using a watercolor pan it's really the same behavior. I can uh, take a little bit of pigment from the pencil on my brush and put it on the paper like I'm painting. The entire pencil is made with uh, this water soluble graphite. There is just a, a sheet of paper around the pencil to protect uh, my hand when I'm drawing with it. Uh, but uh, there is no wood in, in this pencil. So it's particularly easy to, uh, to take a little bit of pigment with my brush uh, directly from the pencil. As many uh, graphite tools, this tool has several uh, colors, if I can say so. Uh, it exists in uh, 2B, 4B, 6B, 8B, I think. Maybe there is more, but in my uh, store there was just those uh, colors. Um, and I chose the 6B because I think it was a very nice uh, dark color and I will be able to, uh, to get light uh, color if I put lots of water and I'm totally right it's working just like a uh, watercolor and I can get a very dark color and also a very light color with uh, water when I draw uh, on paper with this pencil I can smear uh, the, the line with my uh, brush but it will stay a little bit uh, mark I cannot uh, uh, totally erase uh, the line but it's quite uh, uh, useful because I can add a lot of texture uh, with uh, this uh, specification of the, this tool so it's nice for the adding texture and um, I think it's a really good tool to make a study when you are trying to get an idea of what is the really darkest uh, area in your painting and what is the lightest area. It's uh, very good for a tonal study. So in this uh, first uh, study of my cat, I'm using, uh, as I said, a texture paper. It's a uh, uh, I think a rough uh, texture paper. So when I draw with my pencil, you can see the texture appearing uh, on the paper quite a lot. But when I smear the line with my brush, I can erase a little bit this texture. And in any way, it's very interesting because uh, it's texture from watercolor paper. and. Um, I like it, <laughs> that's uh, simple. Um, but you have to be aware that uh, the line will be a bit uh, junked because of the texture of the paper. 
As long as the graphite is not wet, you can erase it, but uh, at the moment uh, it touch water, it will be uh, quite uh, unerasable. Uh, maybe you can lift a little bit of pigment with uh, your eraser, but it will not be very effective. Uh, what's effective is to put uh, another layer of water on top of your uh, wet graphite and uh, blot a little bit with the towel and you can erase a little bit of, uh, of the graphite but I can't uh, think that uh, you can get uh, to the white of the paper back. Maybe it depends on the type of paper you are using, but with the one I've used, uh, I can see my paper cheer up a little bit. My little study is almost done, and you can see that I'm able to get uh, very dark uh, uh, colors and also very light colors, and I like that uh, a, a lot. I think it's a, a really nice tool to have uh, in, your, uh, in your desk. But uh, let's talk about supplies. I've used a Derwent Graphitone 6B and uh, as a brush, a Princeton Neptune half an inch. It's a flat brush and uh, most uh, of it's synthetic. And my paper for the first study was uh, Saunders Waterford in rough. And uh, right now I'm using a piece of Canson Heritage in uh, hot press. And I wanted to see if uh, the hot press paper will behave uh, the same or if I, uh, I was able to get less grain of the paper because it's a very, very flat uh, surface to use. So for my second studies, I'm using this hot press paper and the same uh, tool, uh, my pencil, a water soluble graphite pencil and a brush. And you can see right away that the mark with the pencil are less erasable with my brush. I cannot dissolve uh, as much uh, pigment as uh, with uh, the other paper. But it's okay, um, uh, that's, it's a thing that I need to learn, so I'm not mad at it. Um, and also that I can see that I can get a lot more uh, pigment on my paper, as if the pigment was just sitting on top of my paper and not sinking as much as uh, another rough paper. So for this second study, I'm just painting a very uh, easy landscape. Uh, it's a landscape that I want to paint in a bigger size for quite a while. Uh, it's just a, a side of uh, a river with some rocks and some uh, snow and the river is iced. So it's a, a really nice uh, subject for me. Uh, not so uh, seasonal, but uh, it's okay. Um, and I have trouble with this image because uh, I can't uh, get a really nice uh, idea of what is the darkest dark in this picture and what is the lightest light. So I'm using my uh, graphiton pencil to get a better idea of, uh, of this darkest dark. Uh, and it's uh, the best use I can get from this pencil uh, with doing this kind of uh, tonal studies. Uh, it's a really useful tool for that because it's really, really easy to use um, and I don't need a lot of tools to make it work. Basically, if I want to travel uh, very light, I can just uh, take a, a sketchbook, uh, a brush, my graphiton pencil and some water and my and I'm good to go. And even if I'm using a, a water brush with uh, water inside of the body of the brush, I can uh, be uh, even lighter because I just want, need my pencil and the water brush. And to be honest, at first I didn't think I will like uh, this uh, tool because it's quite uh, different from what I'm used to, but it's so easy to use. It's really like watercolor and in such a format that you can take with you at any time. Uh, and I love the texture and I love the, the effect I can get with it. So I'm quite in love at the end with this tool and I surely will use it a little bit more 
uh, especially for uh, tonal study studies because it's the perfect, perfect tool for that. And I'm adding the last uh, detail and texture on uh, this uh, quick study of uh, my landscape. And the video is now ending. Thanks for watching. I hope you like it. Um, please check the blog post for more information about uh, this painting. Some uh, zoom view if you want to see a bit more of the texture, for example. And uh, tell me what you think in the comments. See you soon.